Okay, so I have my four registration pins and I have my block. And what I've done is I've cut a piece of drawing film. And the drawing film has the whole registration in it that is going to come from the punch. I'm going to show you the punch in a second. What I'm going to do is I'm going to just simply tape my pins to my drawing film here. So the tape, the drawing film itself too, um, is nice and thick. And then the extra tape will help to um, strengthen this because you're all going to print two prints each off of this block and so that's going to take a lot of wear and tear on the registration so I want to make sure it's nice and strong so that it's going to hold up to all of your printing we go to print the relief blocks we're doing next on the press, so you won't be able to use this registration system because you're going to be using an etching press, and it's a bit difficult to use these on the etching press, and really would make the printing of your blocks far more complicated than it needs to be. I'm going to tape this down, and it's flush with the top of the block up there. Whoops! Try that again. I want it flush with the top of the block. So I burnished that down with the burnisher. So now this is all secure. So the reason I did that for you all to see was so that if you're printing and this comes off then you can you know how to put this back on. So make sure that it's lined up at the crop at the top of the block so that you can use that also as a guide for your registration. One of the other things that we're going to be doing for this block which is something that you can do for any print that you make in your relief printing is we're gonna, I'm going to make a shield so that during inking our areas that are image areas will be the only areas that are going to be receiving ink. So what I have prepared is a piece of drawing film or mylar and you can see that I have that um, correlating to the holes for the punch registration and what I'm going to do is transfer our image area onto the mylar and cut it out. So my paper has a natural decal edge, which is the jagged edge here, and then also the torn edge where I tore the paper. I'm going to use the torn edge in the punch because it's much straighter and it's going to give me a more accurate punch. So I'm still, I still have the back of my paper, and the reason I know that is because I can still see some of my marks, but also I can kind of look at the decal, and as we talked about in class, there's a little bit of a difference between the front and back of the paper and then also in terms of um, some of the texture sometimes can be slightly different. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to mark the middle of my paper. So my paper is 15 inches so of course half of 15 is seven and a half. And I'm just going to make a little bit of a line. That line needs to be about an inch long. If we were doing multiple runs of printing, then I would advise that you put tape on the back of the paper before you punch it, but we're only doing one run and we're not using a press, so I think that that wouldn't be something that's necessary right now. So with one sheet at a time, I'm going to take the punch and you're going to use these four punches over here. You're going to put your line there in the middle and line it up. And then what I do is I put my thumb 
right here to hold the paper down and again this isn't attached or anything so it will move if you don't hold the paper down so you need to hold the paper down and then just go ahead and push down the handle and punch the paper and that's going to give you your four corresponding holds that are going to be uh, employed with the registration pins on the block Again, you're going to put it into the punch, line your line up, hold it down, and punch the paper.